Traveling. Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna show you another technique today. Um, it's gonna be some stuff on the arm bar and the gift wrap. So, when you guys get here, I wanna talk first about a basic thing that like 99% of Jiu Jitsu schools do and work on. Um, it's very common, it's great for basics. So, you're gonna learn the gift wrap, okay? When, when, when you get a gift wrap and you control it, you're gonna see something like this. Um, somebody's gonna swing their leg over and get to the mount. Um, you might have already been in the mount. It doesn't really matter how you got here, but once you get here, you're usually gonna see uh, a back take from here or an arm bar. Those are the two, two main things that you're gonna see. And I wanna show you guys the basic arm bar. So again, you're gonna see variations of this, but some, it's gonna look something like this. Gift wrap, loop off the head, and then either, you know, they're either gonna keep the gift wrap grip, which is now like a Kimura grip, okay, or they're gonna release and then do something like, like this. Something to get to the arm bar, okay? Uh, always passing the leg over first before your butt touches. Most coaches will, will teach that, it's very important. You don't wanna lay back and then have the person sit up and then they come into your guard and you miss the arm bar opportunity. So, always keeping the leg over. But there's, um, there's a problem with this that happens frequently. Once you get here, if you're great at finishing arm bars, outstanding, you know, if you're, if you're good at it, you know, you're gonna do some type of method, you might cross, some coaches are like, never cross your legs, always keep your knees tight, and that's fine. Whatever they prefer, you do. Uh, kicking the biceps, so many different ways. Some people like to go and hug the leg, um, lots of ways of separating the grip. But one of the problems is that people, like 99%, again, almost everybody trains arm bar escapes. Okay, at some point they're gonna say, hey, I need to learn how to escape an arm bar, so I'm gonna learn an escape. And when you learn an escape for an arm bar, you typically get in this position. And she starts to develop her skills from here. So let's say I have this grip, or, or this grip, or, or this grip, it doesn't really matter. But she starts to do an escape. She's gonna to start to do her favorite escape. Go ahead, she's gonna put the leg in the guard, turn enemy, and pull the elbow out. See that? Now, this is my point, is when you guys get here, you're gonna have this gift wrap. You're gonna loop off the head. A lot of people are like, um, it's time to go for the armbar. They loop off the head, and they step over it. Now she goes straight into defense mode, okay? And her defense is now triggered by me attacking the armbar. Okay, so sometimes she escapes right away. Maybe, maybe I don't have this grip, which is a very secure grip. Maybe I have a different grip, like posting on the head and I step over. Again, she can do other defenses. Some guys are really good at keeping the leg off the head. You know, so once, once they go here, maybe she bridges up and over my leg, and then she's gonna come up into the guard. We're not gonna go into detail, but the point being is that there's defense to arm bars that people are gonna start when you go to this. It's very common. So what I want to show you guys, what I, what I have my students do, and we've been working on a lot lately, is I teach them how to, how to get to this position, have a little bit different strategy. So when I'm here and I want to go to the arm bar, I'm not going to try to attack the arm bar, whether like this or like this, okay, or this, or any of these positions, or switching and going here. All of this lets her know that I'm doing an arm bar. And it means that she might be able to secure the best grip possible to defend. Another popular, very popular is the uh, rear naked choke grip. So again, if she rear naked choke grips, she's waiting, okay? And when I pass the leg over, she puts her hand here. Do you see what I mean? She's going to defense now. Now I have to be clever enough and skilled enough to deal with this problem. And sure, it's not like you're never gonna see an armbar finish here. You're gonna see a lot. I'm gonna be able to separate this plenty of times. But my, my odds will go up, my, my, my advantage will go up if I can stop her from de defending so early. So here's what I'm gonna do instead. I'll cut to the chase now, I've talked a lot. Here's the, the real meat of this video. I'm gonna keep the, the gift wrap grip, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, it kinda looks like I'm going for the back. I'm gonna sit on my butt, okay? Now, my right leg is here, I'm not gonna go in between the legs. I don't wanna do that. That would force me into a situation where I have to take the back. I would have to swing her body over here to my right. And then I'd be forced to try to get the two hooks. And that's good, but I wanna get the finish. So, 
my foot's going to stay here with control over her hip. And then when I pull, I don't want to pull her over here. If I pull her over here, I'm forced into a back attack. Now I can do a body triangle, and that's great, but I want to finish. So now watch. It doesn't matter if she knows the armbar's coming. She can defend however she chooses with her left hand. She can defend by holding her hands. She can already be grabbing her biceps. I don't really care how she's going to defend. See how she's got this kind of defense going? She's, she's protecting her neck. When I pull her over to here, I'm going to keep my head crunched over to this side, preventing her, using my grip and using my leg, from coming on top. I don't want her to come on top of me. I'm not going to slide my body like this and allow her to roll over and create, a, create an escape or a scramble. I'm going to stay like this. Now, now my leg right here. If I need to, I can make a hip escape if I need to move a little bit. Flexible guys will like this a lot more. Unflexible guys might have to move their hips. Okay? I'm going to bring my leg up and over and I'm going to jam my heel right into the crook of her elbow. Okay? Right into there. Once you get it into here, this is now what you want. I'm going to bring my right leg over and cross my ankles. Okay? And now once I'm here again, I haven't committed to the armbar yet. Remember, this still could be a choke, okay? So I could theoretically break her grip right here and then still attack the choke, it's possible, okay? But what I'm gonna do once I've secured that arm, now I loop off the head and now I make her fall into this area. Now, look what I have now. Squeeze my legs. I'm not gonna pass the leg over the head. I'm just gonna break her grip. I break her grip very easily. She has no power in this position. And it's not because she's a little girl, okay? I'm gonna break the grip. She's trying to come up on top. I'm not allowing her to, okay? If I need to readjust, I can take my right leg like this and go a little more and then cross my legs. Now she's stuck into kind of like a triangle scenario, but I'm not letting her come up in the triangle and I'm keeping her hand away from her other hand. So if she comes to the lock, I'm not letting her. Now I'm gonna control it and I'm gonna finish the armbar just like so. I'm gonna just arch like this. Okay, with her head inside. By doing this, it will work, obviously. This can still, I can get her arm. But this allows more wiggle room for her. This is the position I'm promoting to you today. I'm gonna keep her trapped like this, okay? And now, even if she's got the massive bridge, she's got that crazy bridge, and she tries to come into my guard at some point. Okay, keep coming. I, I know you're hurting. Go ahead, come on in. Yes, now I'm gonna wrap up the triangle, and as she tries to come up, I'm gonna make sure I lock the good triangle and either finish the armbar or finish the triangle, okay? All right, let's do it again. So we're here, okay? I get her in, either in the mount, however you got here. Get the gift wrap, okay? Don't lasso off and try to attack the arm. I'm gonna sit back, okay? Keeping myself here, keeping her at bay. She's trying to come on top, I'm not letting her. She can't go anywhere, I still have full control. Hip escape a little if I need to. Left heel goes over. Sometimes you go all the way over the arm. If you do this, it's, it's, it's game over. She's gonna lock her hands, that's all she can do. I'm gonna loop off the head. I'm gonna try to push my right foot through the loop for an X break, but, but it's not the normal X break. I have an X break with her head inside. Okay, my left leg's not over the head. She tries to move around, there's nothing she can do. I'm gonna break the grip, and again, she tries to come up on top, don't allow it. Finish, and then if, she, again, if somehow, miraculously, she comes up, she's gonna come into the triangle, okay? And then you'll finish the triangle or finish the armbar. And of course, you could always pass the leg over the head. It's always an option, but what I'm trying to get you guys to do today is understand that it's higher percentage. If you wanna tap a higher belt, an upper belt, like let's say you're a blue belt, or you're a purple belt, and you wanna get a brown or black, or you're a blue belt, you wanna catch a purple, okay? If you do this to them and they've got great defense, they're most likely, go ahead, get ready for defense. They're most likely when you get here, they're gonna start defending your move. And it's gonna create scrambles and they're gonna escape your armbar, okay? It's a lot more uh, terrifying for her, okay? If I control this position and I don't do that. She can know it's coming, it doesn't matter. She can start trying to do defense. I bring my leg over and I cross it up. Loop off the head, she's trying to come up. There's nothing she can do. I can break her grip easily. I have high leverage. High leverage to break the grip. Control right here. Again, I don't like to pass my leg over if I don't have to. 
By passing my leg over, that creates more chaos. This is a secured position, okay? Kind of reminds uh, a lot of people at, from like a bow and arrow. Kind of looks like the bow and arrow here, as I'm controlling, except I'm attacking the arm, okay, here. And again, if somehow she could massively bridge in, bump, I'll catch here, scoop my hip, don't let her all the way up. Make sure you make triangle adjustments as she turns, so you get the leg on top of the neck. Don't let them stack, keep the knee away, finish your triangle, okay? That's all it is, right there. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Megan, for helping me out today. Guys, please hit like, hit subscribe, and share this video with your friends, and uh, keep supporting the channel. The channel's doing great, and it's all because of you guys. Thank you guys so much. Teach me grappling.